Hi and welcome to my tutorial. I'm not a professional video maker so I'll do the best I can and hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Okay let's get started. I am going to use Google to download four programs. The first one is called Stellarium. So Google Stellarium and it'll be the first link on the page here. So when I'm ready to download I'll click that. Next program I'll download is I'll Google ASCOM drivers and again it'll be the first link that comes up in Google. Next program I'll download will be iOptron ASCOM and again it'll be the first link that comes up when you Google that, that name last program I will download is Stellarium Scope. I'll Google Stellarium Scope and I'll be clicking on the first link on that page. I'll start by installing Stellarium first. So I'm going to click the first link and I will select Windows 64-bit because that's the system I'm using. You select the appropriate system that applies to your computer. Once you click it, it'll download automatically so you don't have to click this or anything else. It'll start downloading by itself. Next program I'll download is ASCOM Drivers. So I'll click the link and I will click over here where it says Download ASCOM Platform 6.1 SP1. I'll click Download and it should start downloading automatically. Next one I'll download is iOptron iOptron ASCOM. I'll click on that and I'll download this is these are the systems that it will work on and these are the telescopes that it will it'll it applies to. So I'll click on this link down here, which is the driver itself. And once I click it, it should start downloading also. So it's downloading right there. Last program I'll download is Stellarium Scope. I'll click on the first link. And I'll scroll down a little bit further down. And I'll click here where it says the latest release. And I'll click that link and it should start downloading right there. Okay so now I need to wait a little bit for all these programs to finish downloading and then uh, I'll get back and continue with this. Okay I'm going to start by installing Stellarium first. So I'll click on the download link here and I'll select run to start the installation process. English is a default language. I'll click next, click accept and everything looks good. Next I'll choose a default location. Click next, that's fine. And yes I'll leave these two selected. Next and install. And I'm speeding this up. Okay, so now I'll uncheck this and click finish. Okay, next program to install is ASCOM uh, drivers. So I'll click run and I'll let it install. I'll click install here, let it do its thing, and now for the next program which is iOptron uh, ASCOM drivers. So I'll click here, my downloaded program location, I'll click run, next, I'll accept the terms. Click install and wait for it to install. 
and that's it for that one last one is stellarium scope so I'll click run next accept the terms next again default location is good that's okay and I want an icon so I'll click that and install and uh, we are done installing all the programs now so now I need to shut down and restart my computer so let me do that and I'll be right back okay now I'm gonna connect the telescope to my laptop using the uh, cable supplied by ioptron and the cable I ordered online I have the ioptron IEQ 30 mount and the cable for connecting the mount to the computer connects back here and here's a plug I just plug right in there make sure it's attached good doesn't doesn't come unplugged. Then I have it connected to a COM to USB cable that I bought on eBay for about five dollars. And this cable connects to the laptop via USB port. Make sure your mount is aligned before you connect it to the computer. Okay, now that I have restarted my computer, and I've connected the USB cable to my laptop I need to find out what port that uh, USB is connected in so I will open up the device manager and click here where it says ports and that will be the port where my device is port uh, COM14 next I will open up Stellarium by double clicking the icon and I will click on configuration and go to the plugins tab and I will make sure that telescope uh, control is checked here load at startup it's, I have it already checked so I will close that and now I have my telescope control icon here in the bottom I'll click on that and click configuration and click on the telescope tabs and click add I will select external software and I'll select start connection at startup and I'm going to rename my telescope uh, IEQ 30 I'm going to check that and I will put in here an, a 2 for my ocular circle. And that's it for now. I'll have to close this and restart Stellarium now. Double check that everything's there. I'm going to click on main and save my settings so next time I start Stellarium it'll, it'll keep my settings. Next, I'm going to open up Stellarium Scope. And I'm going to click OK here. And I need to uh, select a mount or a driver. And my IOPCON driver should be there. And i got to make sure it's on the COM14. That's my port that my uh, USB connection is hooked up to. Click OK and I'll click on connect here so my so this software connects to the telescope 
Next I will click on Update Delirium Configuration and uh, click these two buttons and now I'll click here to start Delirium software. Wait for my software to load up and I'll click on the telescope icon and I'll click on configure telescope on my telescope tab I should have my telescope listed there and it should be connected okay now in Stellarium I'm gonna rotate the view and look for my telescope icon and there it is it's that circle with a crosshair and I'm going to select this object here, M15, and hit Control 1 on my keyboard, which will make the telescope slew to the item I've selected. And there it goes. After hitting Control 1, it moved over to M15. And there it is. Now this circle here represents the number 2 I put in configuration. Uh, you could put in a smaller number to make the circle smaller or larger to make it larger. I'm going to rotate the view and select another uh, object here. I'll pick this one and I'll hit Control 1 again on my keyboard and now the telescope will start slewing and it'll display here on in uh, Stellarium how the telescope is moving to that selected object. And there you go. That is how you connect an ioptron mount to Stellarium.